congratulations on the purchase of your interest bin. The first thing we're going to do is remove everything and go over the parts and the pieces and the install. First thing you'll see is your patient brochure. We're going to place that aside and move on to the next box. You'll find your instrumentation and your autoclavable vacutainer holder. We're going to place these aside and move on. Next, you're going to remove the paperwork. Very important, you'll see you'll have your uh, protocol manual and the next thing you're going to see is very important. This is your technical manual. I know it looks very thick and wordy, but it's very, very informative. Please review this with your staff, and we're going to place that aside for now. The next thing you're going to do is remove the next box. This is going to contain your blood collection kit. 100 vacutainers, 24 of the butterfly needles, and one tourniquet. We're going to place those aside and remove your, in, your centrifuge. It's a bit heavy, so having two people there. Sorry, I'm going to do that first. I'm going to remove it. Place it down. I'm going to remove the plastic. What we want to remember is to have it on a flat surface. You're going to notice the, the hand driver. What this is for is to remove the bolts underneath the centrifuge. These are for travel. If you're ever going to be taking the machine to another office, carrying it with you, you'll want to put these back in place. Very simple, just unscrew both bolts. You want to save these bolts. You have two extra fuses inside the baggie. Remove the second. Removing, removing. Okay, you'll place the bolts back into the baggie with the hand wrench. I always suggest placing this with some tape onto the back of your machine or very close so it's always there. Again, you want to be sure to place the centrifuge on a sturdy, flat surface. This is your power cord. Centrifuge, again two fuses, two bolts, and your hand wrench. Next, we're going to go over each individual component of the intraspin system. Remember that your system is comprised of three sections, a centrifuge, the instrumentation, and the blood supply. Now we're going to review our instrumentation. You have your expression box with the weighted lid. Underneath is your compression plate your vented base plate, and your tray base. This is your compression piston, which you'll use to form plugs. Next, you have your rectangular stainless steel bowl, your circular stainless steel bowl, your surgical curved scissors, your dual biomaterial carrier spatula, your dual biomaterial packer, and your surgical tissue forceps. Next, let's review our blood collection kit. We have 100 of the plastic nine milliliter vacutainers 
The red top indicates it's specific for this procedure. We have 24 of our butterfly vacuettes with 21 gauge needles. We have our tourniquet, which is latex free. We have a convenient tube rack, which is autoclavable. And all of these components can be reordered through Interlock, ensuring you have the correct supplies for this protocol. Now let's review the intraspin centrifuge. We're going to insert the power cord and plug the unit in. The on off switch is located to the left of the power cord. I'm going to turn that on. And the machine will open with power. Please note it is set for the LPRF protocol at 2700 RPMs and 12 minutes. Please consult your manual for more details regarding the display control settings. Next we're going to do a test run on the machine. We will close the lid and take your time down to one minute. Press start. This is just to see that everything's running properly. You'll note that the time and RPMs will increase and decrease on the panel. and decreasing our RPMs. The machine will automatically open. It will beep to let you know the tubes do need to be removed until you push the stop button. An important thing to note here, should you lose power on your intraspin centrifuge, you will take the wrench that we use to remove the travel bolts and you will gently insert that into the opening in the front of the centrifuge until you feel that seat and gently turn that counterclockwise. That will open the machine without power. To conclude our basic installation of the Intraspin system, let's review a couple of things. You have your patient education brochures. This is a great tool for educating the patient on the benefits of LPRF platelet therapy. Those are available for reorder with Intralock. You have your FDA cleared protocol manual. Please follow this precisely. And again, your operating manual. This is beginning to end everything you need to know about using the Intraspin system. Should you have any further questions, please call our customer service at 877-330-0338 or consult our website, www.intra-lock.com. Again, congratulations on your purchase.